Oh, welcome to another week of Tesla news. Lots of fun stuff going on with the Model S, the Model 3, the Model X, and even a little bit of Powerwall news. All right, so first of all, Tesla Energy finally has something online where you can actually place a real order, and it's the power packs. These are the really big 100 kilowatt hour batteries for power companies to use during peak hours so they don't have to build up their systems for you know the, 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 the peaks. They can put in these battery banks to kind of smooth it out so off peak they can they can charge them up and then during the peak you can pull from the battery banks. They're not cheap. It's $160,000 for two of them with all the equipments and the inverters necessary to get them going on a 200 kilowatt system. Uh, you can order up to 54 of these and if you get all 54 of them and the inverters and the cabling it was uh, was it 3.2 million dollars so it's it's not terribly cheap but that's about the cost of like just one wind turbine so you know if you're a big power company it might be worth it it's probably a lot cheaper than you know building that extra capacity for that you know a couple hours a night when you know everybody's home and, and really maxing out the system they're also saying you can order more than 54 of them if you call up Tesla but you know if you just want to have an impulse purchase online and an extra three or four million dollars laying around you can just go ahead and you know enter in your credit card information and order you know 54 of these huge batteries <laughs> most of the news that I get is just from various sources online and it's usually people quoting interviews that have been done and there was a few different interviews going on last week during these interviews Elon Musk kind of teased some upcoming things beyond the Model 3 one of those things is a mobility service so they're talking about maybe a bus or some kind of like autonomous transit system let me know what you guys think in the comments below I mean if there's autonomous mass transit I mean the monorail in Las Vegas, I don't believe it has drivers, and there's other systems kind of like that already, but it'll be interesting if it uses, you know, existing roads. Something to keep an eye out on. Also announced, or hinted at, beyond the Model 3, there's going to be a fourth generation platform of Teslas. So right now they're talking about the Model 3, then a Model Y built on the same platform, so it'll be a similar cost. But it's probably going to be like an SUV and a cheaper vehicle, so maybe something in the twenty thousand dollar range, as opposed to the thirty or forty thousand dollar range, and a truck, which I'm really excited about because in my line of work we have to use trucks for certain things, and it'd be really cool to have an electric truck. Model S news: Tesla Model S is basically just a bag of computers sitting on top of a battery, and one of those big computers drives the 17 inch display and uh, the hacker that previously released some things about different batteries and things he found a way to install Gen 2 Linux on it and he put movies he's playing like Terminator <laughs> so that's kind of cool that you know you don't have a warranty anymore and you really want to hack it there's ways of doing that um, when I was at DEF CON and they were showing a, a big old thing on how they hacked the Tesla most of the ways that they were using have been patched, so you might have to get like an older Tesla that wasn't online. I, I don't know the details, but I'm gonna look into it more. And maybe that'll be a Two Smart Guys show <laughs> some someday in the future, um, see how that's done. There was also a report last week of customer satisfaction with the Model S, and they're saying it is at 97%. So 97% of the people that they did in the survey said that they'd buy another Tesla is our next vehicle. So they're saying it's the highest satisfaction of any electric car right now. Considering they're, the Teslas, they're always updating them and sometimes those updates have bugs. So there, there's, there are little tiny quirks and issues, especially with the newer models like the Model X. They've been having issues with the very first ones off the line. Like uh, even my Tesla, it was one of the first ones off the line for the Model D. And it, it had broke down the first two weeks that we had it. They took care of it. And there's been little things like handles. So, you know, some people complain about the Tesla having more issues than other luxury cars, but for the most part, they're really good about fixing them. 
and keeping all the customers happy, and apparently 97% buy another Tesla. If you haven't noticed, I'm not driving the Tesla. <laughs> I am riding in our Chevy Volt, and my wife is driving, <laughs> and I shave. So let me know in the comments below, you like the beard, no beard, Tesla, Volt? <laughs> Model 3 news. Uh, the prototype of the Model 3, they took it out to the Gigafactory, they let some people take some pictures, post some video of it, some live streaming of the exterior and things. They're driving it around the country. It's kind of cool that it's getting out there. It's neat to see that prototype around. I got a ride in one. If you haven't seen that video, look at the other Tesla trip videos. I've got a whole thing from the unveiling event. I was there and I got a test ride in one. Nissan. They realize since the Model 3 now has over 400,000 pre-orders that people put a deposit down on, that they should try and take advantage of that because there's pretty much a guarantee that Tesla's not going to be able to fulfill all 400,000 of those within the next two, three years, maybe four years. It depends on how fast they can build factories to build the batteries and the cars. So they're saying, why wait for your Model 3 when you can go down and you can pick up 100% electric Nissan LEAF today. And you can get uh, your federal rebate, you can get the tax rebate for your state, and you can pick up one of these for, you know, a pretty good deal. But not really, because they're like $30,000. The Tesla Model 3 is $35. you are looking at a 100 mile range versus a over 200 mile range. And a lot of people argue that the LEAF is got a very unique look to it. It's not appealing to everybody. <laughs> um, let me know what you think. Would you pick up a Leaf? Uh, or is it a really bad time to buy a Leaf? Uh, their sales are slowing down quite a bit because everybody's expecting the Chevy Bolt and the Tesla Model 3 with these 200 mile range for a similar cost. Why would you go buy a car that could only do half that? That's it's interesting. It, it's cool that they're paying attention Maybe they'll lower the cost more on the Leaf. I know that the used ones are probably gonna be really cheap pretty soon here. Tesla Model X news. Tesla's apparently in production now on the European pre-orders. So if you live in Europe, you're gonna start getting your Model Xs. So that's cool. They also had a big event in China where they were um, showing off the X and that's available to be ordered. The configured Configurer came up online, so you can go online and you can configure the Model X and see how much it would cost, and you can actually order one now instead of just pre-ordering one. Unless you're Ford and you don't want to wait, you can just buy one, a used one, at a premium of an extra $55,000 is what they paid for a, one of the Model Xs so they can take it, dissect it, figure out what makes it tick, or, or who knows. It's interesting, uh, I think it was Audi. They also bought one and took it to Europe, but they can't charge it because it's a different charging standard in, in Europe than it is here. So they drove it around a little bit and then it was some pictures of it along on the side of the highway. They don't have a way to charge it. So I'm sure they'll figure out um, some kind of a converter so they can charge it. But it's just interesting to see that other car companies, they're buying these Teslas and they're taking them apart to re uh, reverse engineer them or just kind of see how Tesla does what they do. So, that's all the news that's fit to print, or at least the things that kind of stood out in the past week that I found interesting. Please let me know what you think, if there was any news that I missed, anything else you'd like me to cover in these episodes. Also, I'm going to post a video pretty soon of these, these new LED lights that you can put in the Tesla for the trunk and the front, make it light up better. They're only like $50, and, and it makes a huge difference. It's like eight times greater, or no, maybe it's like 20 times. It was a, it's a huge difference, you'll see in the video. Please subscribe, uh, email me, I'm Pox at Two Smart Guys, or on Twitter, I'm at Walking Pro. Thanks, see you guys next time. Come out and play! Uh, like when they do music videos and, and there's a beat and it kind of goes blurry, like, you know, like, like with the bass, like, <laughs> Come out and What is that? Okay, where is it saying? I never seen Dick Clark is during the... You don't understand how it's a huge deal. Start watching all the videos. Another game save exploit. The cool thing about this one is it works with all these things across the board. For the fear of Harry Potter.
I know I could get at least 5,000 down the street. Looks stronger to me. Yes, it's a lie. I'm Yago. I'm Couch Guy. Hi, I'm Box. And I'm Raggable. Pretty cool stuff, huh? What? And where can you find that? You better go wait outside. We don't, we don't want any trouble.